Our Friday briefing, and today we're being offered the Chief Minister and also Mr. Cretney, uh, infrastructure. So, we've got two things to talk about. First of all, the Sawyer Harvester. I mean, this is still ongoing. I mean, 13 years after. I, I, must, I must have done interviews about this yeah. every year. That it's going to be scrapped. It will be going this time. But I, I know it's been held up with court cases, but that is now over? It is. Uh, you know, I think the department and government were under um, pressure previously to... Uh, and rightly so, to retain the vessel in, in case it was required uh, because of the various court actions that were ongoing. However, any value the vessel may have had, I think, is is long since passed. We've been in conversation with uh, legal representatives of the families, and they are quite content of the action that we're now proposing. And this is to basically take it to Ramsey still that plan and to start cutting it up? Uh, what we have to do will be to invite expressions of interest. I mean, I think it's likely that Ramsey would be the preferred uh, uh, destination. That's what happened last time. It was spoken about, yeah. Um, and it'll be cut, the vessel will be cut up and uh, scrapped in that way. I mean, obviously very emotive for everybody. And I mean, there was looking at putting it back into the water and sinking it, but that wasn't an option. Was it? Um, it wasn't as far as those people who advise us in relation to maritime matters uh, in terms of the waters around the island. It was felt that it may constitute uh, further difficulty in terms of uh, other vessels or fishing vessels or whatever. And so this was felt to be the right solution. That was therefore put to the families to see with, whether they were content with that rather than the vessel being returned to the, the ocean, if you like. And they were content that this is uh, an appropriate way for it to conclude, be concluded. Because, I mean, bizarrely, it's been costing money to keep the thing, I mean, to keep it afloat. Yes, uh, and, you know, it's, you know, it's been in a high-profile spot in, in, uh, in Douglas Harbour, uh, so I think people will be uh, pleased that we're coming to the end of this particular chapter. What timescale have you got on this, if any? Yeah, well, certainly before the summer, uh, we, we want to get on with it as soon as possible. There'll have to be an advert placed, responses to that. Then the vessel will re be required to be taken to wherever the scrapping is going to take place. Um, and so hopefully before the summer. The families have supported this, as you said. The Manx government has been seen to be doing everything honourable this will be the end of the case, will it? Or is there yes. anything left still outstanding? Oh, I, I don't know about the end of the case. Matters may proceed elsewhere. But in terms of our involvement, other than uh, a lifelong friendship, which has now been established because of the action which was taken in the year 2000, um, I think this is the end of the Isle of Man's part in that. <laughs>